All right, what's up everyone? Boy Hiseki back in with a new video. The man is here. Um, I'm not Becky Lynch, but I am Boy His Tech. I don't know what the intro was just now, but I hope you enjoyed something from it. Um, today we're gonna be talking about what is probably my favorite, this has been my favorite piece of tech since when this came out, September. So for the past month, the past four weeks, so between like mid-September to you know where we are right now, which is like October 19th, I believe, Google event is today, and I think I'm missing it actually. Oh well, <laughs> we, live and re we live and learn. Um, but that doesn't matter because right now we're gonna be talking about the brand new uh, iPad Mini that just dropped from Apple a few weeks ago when they drop, also dropped the iPhone. Ooh, that silicon case is nasty. The iPhone 4 13, uh, 14 is next year. Um, but honestly, I got both of these devices the same day and I love this one way more than the iPhone. I don't know why, but something about the iPad mini is revolutionary for me personally and I, I'm super excited to talk about it today. So here is going to be my mini review of the iPad mini. Let's jump into it. Alright, so we're back here with this new review. And so, you know me, I have my trusty iPad to the right of me, left of me, and we're going to talk about some things. But first off with this, the most striking new thing about this iPad has to be the design. So, as you can see now, the design is the brand new, you know, squared off edges, you know, this this beautiful design uh, that Apple has done, decided to do to copy the new like iPad Air, the iPad Pros, and hopefully, you know, and the iPhones too. So basically, Everything is coming to like one unified um, design language and even the new iMac. The new MacBooks though, I honestly do not follow the same design language. We'll talk about that in a different video, but it's okay. Uh, but what I really love about this design is just that it's etched at display, no more home button, no more home button, it's all gestures now. Um, touch ID is still here, so just like the iPad Air, the Touch ID is in the home button, which I think is, honestly personally, I think that is the right choice to go with that. Um, and the also move the volume rockers on the top, which is I personally feel like it's been easier to control because it's a small device and you're not gonna one hand this, you know, you don't need to one hand this device whatsoever. Construction, Whew. you don't need to one hand this device really, maybe like if you're just looking at it, but. Most people are going to use this iPad mini, going to be using two hands no matter what anyway. And when you have it this way, right? So when you have it like like this way, it's so easy to open up the device and it's so easy to just move your fingers down and, ch and change the controls. Same thing on this side, it's a little bit more awkward, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and the reason for that is because it now has support for the brand, well not brand new, but the second generation I, um, Apple Pencil which you just do that and it charges it. And the reason why the vine buttons have to move to the, to the top is because, you know, the app is to take up all this, this length over here. And they're not gonna put it on this side because that side is like, you know, when you have your smart case on and you're gonna close it up, it's gonna cover it. And some cases, other, other like third party cases will probably cover this whole thing completely anyway. So that'll be extremely bad design language is how's the case. So. Moving the buttons up here was honestly to me the best choice they could have made. It's, it's fine. Some people was complaining about it, but I think it's perfectly okay. So I decided to pick mine up in the purple color. And let me tell you, man, this purple is so nice. You can't really see too much here, but I'll give some of the shots. But the purple is so beautiful. Like, just, just look at that. It's like a lavender, purplish kind of color. It made me wish I got the purple eye mat because I had the blue one. And you know, purple and blue still go together, so I'm not complaining too much. Along with that, I also picked up the... um. The purple lavender smart case, which I think is also pretty freaking nice too. So, all right, so that's that's pretty much it about the design. Honestly, I would give the design like a ten out of ten. I think it looks perfect. I think this is exactly what a lot of people wanted from the iPad Mini, and it's just it's great. It's, I, I love it. Like this, the squared off edges on the iPad Mini makes it so so easy to hold in your hands. It feels like it's substantial. It feels premium quality, it feels like Apple, um, top notch stuff. So we talked a little bit about the accessories here. We have the new Apple Pencil that is connected and it feels great to run this thing with Apple Pencil. It's like you're writing like a notebook. It's like you have a notepad, you bring it out, you need to take some quick notes, bam, 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 you jot yourself down, you put your pen back here, um, that's it. I wish Apple would come up with a case, um, like those third party cases that, you know, wraps around and covers the pen so that, cause sometimes it is so easy to knock this thing off, off of I need the iPads, the magnet is strong, but it's still not that strong. Um, bring some man safe to this Apple, MagSafe, compatible Apple Pencils. 
is gonna be Max Save is so strong. Make it happen. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about the screen real quick. So the screen has a three three by two, a three two uh, screen ratio. It's a screen ratio of three two. Um, it has a 8.3 inch screen. It is 60 hertz, so it's not pro motion display. Even though it's not pro motion, it still looks great with the colors. Um, obviously, if you've been using a 120 hertz iPad or 120 hertz iPhone 13. Um, most of the iPad and you're using this you're gonna see the difference it's not as smooth it could get it could look a little janky but for me as a small device you know I think it looks perfectly fine and they're not gonna put pro features in this unless they make like an iPad mini pro or until they span 120 Hertz pro motion on all the devices and that probably won't happen for a while so 60 Hertz is perfectly fine in my eyes I think it looks great um, you know, one day Apple brings one turn to everything, but that'll probably take honestly maybe five years. Um, and that's gonna be a while. Um, they just bring it to the MacBooks, and the iMac didn't even have, doesn't even have it yet. The iMac doesn't have 120 hertz. You know, one day we're gonna get it, but just not today. <laughs> one day. So yeah. So honestly, I mean, why this is my favorite device? Well, I mean, give me, let me give some reasons. My use cases for this is not my primary iPad. You know, I have my iPad Pro, which honestly has become more of a second display for my iMac at this point. And when Universal Control comes out, I don't even think I'm ever gonna move my iPad Pro that much. You know, I'm gonna go in bed with it. Like when I wanna go lay down in bed and my phone's charging, I pull this out, and I could not have, not have to leave my iPhone charging overnight. Instead of taking it to bed with me, the battery dies halfway through, then I gotta put it to charge in the morning and rush to go work or whatever I gotta do. Now I could leave the charge and just use this because it is so small. It doesn't feel like it's cumbersome in my hands when watching video content. Uh, if I wanna do some work in bed, it is still fine to do so. This is the 64 gigabyte model because I didn't think I needed any more than that since I already have a 512 or, this is one terabyte, this is a 512 iPad, so I was like, I don't need to have a, um, a one terabyte or uh, like, I don't even make it one type of this, but I don't need more storage than 64 gigabytes and that probably uses like maybe 30 gigabytes so far. Um, so if you buy this as a second complimentary device to the devices you already have, I will opt out for the small storage because if you want to add more apps, just use your main device and that's pretty much what I'm doing. And now with the M1 chips, you can put iPad apps on, on your freaking computer. So you don't really need to have that much space in this thing. Um, but yeah, for my use cases, just say it's really just media consumption. Be on Discord, be on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all of those stuff, TikTok. This is what this device is, social media based. It's like my phone away from my phone. I mean, like, you know, you have your home away from home. This is my phone away from phone. It's perfectly great. If I had, if I had the LTE or the 5G version, whatever you want to call it, that would be mad dope too, but I don't think I need it. So my Wi-Fi is super fast here, so I don't think I need all of that. But I love this thing. This thing is great. It is probably one of the best devices I have purchased all year long. And I bought some crazy stuff. Hey, <laughs> so I bought the iMac. I bought the freaking Galaxy Fold. I bought this iPad. I spent too much money is the thing that I'm trying to say here. And I don't even work for a lot of money. But you know me. I'm a big believer in, in technology and keeping up with technology. So I buy, upgrade, buy, upgrade. I, I spend less money that way um, by selling stuff for high prices. Um, you just gotta set the right moment. But I digress. I keep talking about that. But yeah, I think this, honestly, I've been contemplating so hard about selling my, my note. And let me tell you why real quick. Because now that I have this iPad, right? And the whole thing about the note is, you know, you have a phone and it turns into a tablet. You can fold it up, yada, yada, yada. Okay, we have it folded up, open here. But look at this, man. I'm just gonna show you real quick, but like, the screen size difference between the screen size differences between the the fold and the iPad Mini. The iPad Mini is bigger. It's not 120 hertz, no. But at least this is glass. <laughs> That's the one thing. At least this is glass. And this is pla This is like a soft glass, almost like a plastic almost, you know. Um, and it has a crease in the middle. Sometimes I just want to. I want to throw this thing around my bed. You can't really do this with this phone. I mean, you could, but you risk, you know, breaking it anyway. And my main use case for the Fold has been primarily tablet mode. It hasn't really been the front-facing phone because it's not my main device, which is personally why I think I prefer to just keep around this more than the Galaxy. So I have been thinking about, do I sell it, do I not? I want to use it for productivity, which is why the new Surface Duo 2 that's coming out, it has, my, it has my interest, but not as much as interest that I'll pay the ridiculous price to charge for it. I actually bought 
what we're gonna, I'm just gonna be another video. So I get a little sneak peek, but I actually bought a duo to test out the old duo. I had a duo before in the past, and I re bought it again on Amazon for really cheap. And I want to see if this is the way to go um, now and see upgrade to duo too. But anyway, that's enough about my favorite tech of the month. Um, I really love this iPad. This is a mini review. This thing is amazing. If you're interested in the iPad mini or even have like a slight interest in it, check it out. Go to the Apple Store, use it for yourself. Pick one up if you please do so. Even if you already have a big iPad, this is a great complimentary device. I recommend this 10 times out of 10. So that has been my mini review of this iPad. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, Boy is Tech here, and we're going to keep paying you up with more content weekly. Peace out, y'all. Boom, boom, boom.